Hey, what is going on, nerds? Skeleton Jim, and it is time for some more Great Gothic Gamble here in EU4. Hmm. Now, I noticed that Hungry had annoyingly occupied Azov. So that's a problem for me. Brittany. I don't know. I don't really want to go over there, but I will. You know? Good news is that after that whole war reshuffling from Milan, who was growing <laughs> somewhat pretty powerful, uh, the Papal State's capital is now Ancona, so they don't have a fort there. So it's relatively easy to take it, I imagine. Still working down Burgundy. Everybody has high war enthusiasm. For reasons. But that's not. I'm not gonna let that stop me, you know? Get Jason Province as and like what the I don't I don't understand where there's two entries. Don't understand. I know I'm spending money, and I should be saving it for the institution, but the more of those we have anyway, the better off I'll probably be. So, why not invest in the future, kind of? Hey, you no longer consider me a rival. Interesting. I wonder if when I leave this war, what the hell? <laughs> what is happening now? That, okay. That was weird, right? Everybody saw that and was like, this, is Hungry just giving up? Is he just like, you know what? This is where we die. Please remember me. Hey, we won the siege. Oh, that's probably why he did that. He knew. He cheated and he knew. Finally, Jesus. You're full occupied. So this is this is happening. Whether you want it to or not, it's happening. Now it's becoming a little bit more manageable. All we need to do now is get Brittany out of the war, and but he's kind of super jacked. We are burning through manpower quite quickly. But we were almost at our cap, so that's kind of why I wanted to declare war, because, you know, if I don't use it, it's just going away sitting there. Hmm. 
Where are you going now? Trying to like cut them off. It's not really working. I did not know this was mountains. That's my bad. Hopefully we get there before he can like reinforce in any capacity. Or we just stack wipe him. No, I want to kill your army now. That's what I've decided that I want to do. I'm trying to improve relations so the coalition is not so scary. There we go. Although we're going to have to siege down that fort completely to take that land. Probably shouldn't push it. What if I don't take that one? What if I take this one? You'll take that? Can't force your religion. Uh, you'll renounce your cores. You should probably pay attention to the revolts. As well. I think the Netherlands needs some help, you guys. Okay, cool. Alright, so we got another piece of Hungary. And we filled in that awful, awful, awful hole that was there. He made this Catholic, which I despise, but so be it. Clergy now demands land. There you go, bud. Have some land. We are making some ducks. That's a statement I can make. We are making money. We 
Bulgaria is actually decent. All right. Brittany is at low. Take some money for my trouble. Now it's just you and me, Papal State. Good. Maybe that'll convince Austria that we need to handle the situation down here. I just want cash. All right, well, we can embrace an institution. So let's do that. We are now ahead of time and everything. Wonderful. That was successful. We have reached success. We even have cost left over. They should not have this province. What is Turov? Show me Turov game. Not Turov. Just Turov. Right. Well, let's put this here first. No. Sorry, Frankfurt. We are back to being an isolation, isolationist nation. Ooh, good. Fighting another war. So it looks like the Papal State is going to be full annexed. Ah. All right, we need to cool it on uh The war, the land taking in the HRE for right now. I I bet they do. <laughs> they're in a, they're in what you would call a pickle. Well, the most deaf. We will do that. What is our force limit now? 207. We are way underproduced. Like, we should make way more troops. We can afford them, too. Well, yeah, but they're also a dirty, dirty vassal under Scandinavia.
they were going to be my dirty, dirty vassal. But now we have the slot open for, like, Augsburg. Oh, man, if we get vassal Augsburg back, that'd be so good. I love you, vassal Augsburg. Oh, our spy network got discovered. Shit. No. Oh my god. It's with the steel maps? Okay. Oh, they are super outraged. Surprised they have not formed a coalition. You just threatened. Um, who did I? Oh, yeah. I noticed that the Netherlands and I, our relationship's not as good as it could be. to my admin power. So we're going to be doing a lot of uh, corn and stuff. New. Austria would defend you. It's fine. It's good for Austria. It's a good emperor thing to do. I don't necessarily blame him except I hate him I hate him for his his incompetence oh okay they're building right there okay gotcha I was like I said 10 infantry right Do I dare look at how strong the Ottomans are? They haven't moved that much. France and I are fairly equivalent. Russia's a little scary. He's still grateful for aid, though. You know? <laughs> so, that's good. Oh, we still have a truce, so he can't join the coalition. He could. But by the time that the Teutons here get out of that truce, they won't have enough aggressive expansion penalty against me. To form the coalition. So that's good news. And Celestia, Celestia is not even outraged enough. Austria's a little mad. Understandably. Alright, how are our revolts? Bells and Breslau. We got stuff on Breslau. Just sit this army down there. This is an okay province. It's not super great. It's okay. 
An alliance offer from Genoa. Hmm. I know how you feel, Genoa. And I'm going to, uh... Do the same thing that everyone did to me. And say, no, you cannot be my friend. Alright, hold on one second. I gotta check on the dude. Alright, well, he seems fine. I don't know. He doesn't want to go out. It's being weird. Oh, he's a weird... A weird puppy. He's a weird dude. Even the vet was like... This dog's... He's really nervous. <laughs> it sounds just like that. I don't know, dude. Whoever had him last, like... They fucked him up. We didn't do it. <laughs> Let's see here. What are we doing? Training fields. Probably be a good idea, right? Get some more boats. We need boats. Yeah, they're still outraged. Pretty soon they're not gonna exist. If I could reset my truce with you, that would be like amazing. Still at war. Where else do we have revolts? Over here. I think our spread is pretty good, you know? Of units across the areas. Orthodox now, huh? Can't believe I have to record this. That's so. Trying to enforce that peace was was a bad idea. You have a lot of overextension. Still gaining manpower though. I own this. It's this weird way that I said that, but <laughs> so I was like, I own this. Mm, a little salt. I love it, dude. I expected, you know, when I built all those troops, my income to go down. Nope. We are doing it. We should probably be focusing a little more on... Thinking about recovering some manpower. Although with France distracted... And Austria probably very tired. Such a tired boy. I'm not sure, uh... 
I don't know. The longer we wait, though, the more we're going to pay in the long run, right? But it's also... It's not our end goal in any stretch of the imagination. But we are going to have a coalition. If we declare what I want to declare, even Austria is starting to get a little bit like, hey, you know, we're friends. Don't get me wrong, but settle down, dude. Oh. Maybe we should think about changing our government. Although, I think I kind of regretted this last time. Years of Separatism is pretty good, though. What does it do? Does it ban the nobility? There. Good. Three points. It might ban the nobility. You might just like dismantle them. Do I use them enough to really justify not having it though? Wow, sending privateers against Ottomans plus 10. Uh. Okay. I'm not sure what's happening. Has Russia flipped to friendly? Ooh, queen. <laughs> Welcome back to the fold, my son. Hello. I knew you couldn't stay away. I knew you couldn't stay away, Russia. We're two peas in a pod, us. You know? We, we understand each other. We have an understanding. And nobody gets us, except you and me. You know? That's just how it is. You know, we start crossed, etc. Start drilling, fuckers. Oh, buddy, missed you a little bit. Gotta say, was feeling a little scared. Now we're all good. Feel like declaring war right now. No favors. Yep. Attitude towards enemies. Trust. Still kind of trust me. We lost those, like, 800 favors. That kind of... Kind of pisses me off. That's fine. At least having him as a giant, like, don't mess with me button. That's enough. Plus, we're going to attack Austria, eventually. And then we'll need a, we'll need a backup. Wow, wow. Wow. Alright. Breslau. What's your deal, Breslau? Yeah. 
And we are making money. Shop, counting house, monthly income, whatever. I should probably build more forts, right? This would be the one I would be concerned about the most. I don't know, we can sort of afford the state, I just don't know if I want to do it. Remember Theodore? <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna take a break here. I, we need to go back to the strategy drawing board. Uh, I'm happy Rush is back. Home, home with daddy. This does not, this does not look right at all. But maybe that's just how it looks. As always, though, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure to leave a like. If you had a comment, make sure you leave a comment. And as always, if you want to stay tuned for more than just subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.